Hi, it's Andrea Olson here with another Hometown Helpers. Every week we are introducing you to a firefighter, a police officer, and even a cemetery worker. We wanted to give you a taste of some of the work that they do and how they keep our cities and counties running. I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd be working in a cemetery. This is Scott Davis. He's a sexton, which means he's a cemetery caretaker. It's a lot different, but I, but I love Love my job, absolutely. He's been working for the city of Idaho Falls for 28 years and has been a sexton for six. Scott maintains the grounds at Rose Hill Cemetery. It's about 67 acres. And Fielding Cemetery. He loves the crew he works with to keep everything running. We do burials um, and we do cremations. We interact with people all the time, people that are in emotional distress. And it's almost a personally, it's personally gratification just to help somebody in emotional need when, when death is obviously tough for anybody to handle. It's a job that he has adjusted to over time. Take, for example, preparing a burial. At first, it was really difficult for me um, just dealing with, you know, people that have died because nobody really wants to deal with that and nobody really thinks about it until it happens to you. And it is just an odd feeling to have. Um, the first burial I did, I, I, I didn't know how to feel. I, 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 it was just something different, something of emotion I never really experienced. Um, after a while, you get used to it. Scott has learned a lot on the job and by talking with people who visit their loved ones. Prepare before, before it happens because uh, when there's a death, usually people are, are scrambling and, and trying to buy property and trying to deal with the funeral homes. It's best if you already have a place. The cemetery can be a peaceful place to go to. On beautiful days like this one, Scott says people will often take walks on the grounds. Both cemeteries he works in is rich with history. As you work here, you, you, know, you get to see the headstones. There's some n different names in here that you come across just from working here. Like we have a Harry Potter, a Clark Kent. We have Curly right there. As a matter of fact, that's uh, Kate Curly on 10th Street, right there, they're named after, that park's named after them. Scott shows every day that he's a hometown helper by taking care of those who have passed and helping those that visit. If you know of a hometown helper that you would like us to feature, please email me at andrea.olson at eastidahonews.com.